Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday morning, the 4th of March. I'm James Spann. Hey, we warm up nicely today. How about low 60s? Doesn't that sound good after a frigid weekend? We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at the insane hour about 430 Goodness, that's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam, where uh, the sky is clear and it's cold. There's a look at downtown Jasper from the King Building and the Coleman Sky Cam looking down on US 278. Well, the big trough over the east beginning to flatten out a little bit. We note that very strong northern branch short wave coming into the uh, northern states. That's going to produce a heavy snow set up there from uh, the Dakotas down to near Chicago in the short term. You bet it's cold. Uh, everybody below freezing, 27. Gadsden and Fort Payne, 25 at Haleyville. Those are 4 a.m. temperatures. But again, uh, we'll start to warm up. I think most locations will see 60 today, and that will feel like a heat wave. Around the nation, still very cold in the east. Not too bad for the western states. There's our watch warning map, and you can see winter storm warnings in effect up north from the Dakotas down to near Chicago. And winter storm watches have gone up for parts of Virginia, around the Washington, D.C. area, parts of Maryland and West Virginia. That could be a huge snow for those folks, as uh, you'll see in just a moment. Now, in the short term, uh, this is the big snows from the Canadian border down to near Chicago and north of Indianapolis. And uh, that's got a pretty impressive bullseye over northern Indiana and northeast Ohio. Uh, suggesting maybe snow amounts there of 10 to 12 inches. And this is over the next 72 hours. And we'll focus on that mid-Atlantic setup here in just a minute. And this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. Rain amounts of about uh, one-half inch here. Uh, not a big event, but we'll certainly get wet tomorrow. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid at noon today. You see the strong energy up in the northern stream coming into the Dakotas, and down below that, the uh, snow will be cranking up there. But around here, the weather should be very nice today. We'll call it partly sunny, and again, most locations will see a high at or just over 60 this afternoon. Sounds good to me. After uh, such a cold weekend, the uh, GFS is at 63, the NAM is at 61. Tomorrow, the surface low is on the Ohio River west of Cincinnati. A trailing front coming in here with a band of showers. Uh, should be a fairly mild day. Again, the high close to 60. Kind of breezy at times. Pretty good little southwest wind. We note there is a tad of instability. Not a lot, a little bit. Uh, along and south of Interstate 20. So there could be some thunder in spots. But severe weather would not be likely. There's the SPC convective outlook tomorrow. Uh, no organized severe storms, just general thunder from Alabama on east with that system. And we figure rain amounts will be somewhere in the one-half inch range. Wednesday, we turn colder. It's a pretty cold-looking flow there with cold air advection. The high should be in the upper 40s with a pretty gusty north wind. And, of course, the big story is that deep surface low that is just east of the mouth of Chesapeake Bay. And our friends up in the uh, Middle Atlantic Coast region are all going to be asking who gets the snow and how much. Uh, well, let's take a look. This is the RPM output. And by golly, this is spitting out a little spot there of 30 inches of snow uh, that is west of Washington, D.C. Uh, for D.C., this is uh, the RPM is being pretty aggressive here. It's, it's showing uh, really for Washington and Baltimore. Uh, 8 to 10 inches of snow. This could be a big one for those cities. But again, the really intense snow is just off to the west over northern Virginia. So our friends up there will be watching that intently. Thursday, well, it looks pretty cold to start the day. I think we'll be below freezing, probably upper 20s, low 30s. But we start to warm up again. After that chilly day Wednesday, the high Thursday should be in the upper 50s. And Friday, Hey, we'll go back in the low 60s, and the sky should be bright and sunny Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. No rain for the latter half of the week. Go to Saturday as we start the weekend. Hey, this is going to be exciting now. The GFS, are you ready? Printing a high of 70. That's the day a lot of us have been looking for. That'll feel like spring. 
That will get everybody outside there. But a big storm is cranking up over the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. We'll keep an eye on that. Sunday, the core energy holds back to the west, and we've still got kind of a, a flat ridge here. So moisture is increasing Sunday. It looks like the day could be dry. The high well up in the 60s will probably bring in the chance of rain late Sunday and Sunday night. And then Monday of next week, we look wet. A, a surface low shows up there near Livingston in West Alabama. Uh, not very aggressive. We note the European, though, is uh, more aggressive with that rain event Monday, showing a band of heavier rain coming in here Monday evening. So uh, we'll start to ramp up the chance of rain a week from today. That's March 11th, and we'll fine-tune that way too early you know, to talk you know, thunderstorms or severe potential. For now, it doesn't look like an overwhelming severe weather event, but we'll see. We'll go later in the month, March the 17th. It was pretty cold over the northern half of the nation there. It's a 1031 high coming down on the Canadian border. Batch of showers and storms passing through here. And on the 19th, that looks nice, calm, and dry, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, kind of back to the regular schedule this week. The next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on television this evening or the live stream, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.